Right now I'm watching. What you gotta do is get into it. The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is... So today is calisthenics day. I'm gonna do some calisthenic exercises for you. I'm gonna show you how I do them. So I'm gonna start off with the pull-up. Okay, I'm gonna use my lats, my wings. If you wanna develop your wings, your back muscles, start doing pull-ups. Okay, it's different variations too. You can go wide, you can go inside. It's all kind of grips you can use. Doing a pull-up is a dead giveaway that you are in some kind of shape. You, you're in better shape than more than like 90, 95% of the population if you can control your body weight. I'm going wide. In my opinion, going wide is harder. It's the hardest version you can do. You really feel it in your back, your lats. So if you want to develop your wings, and I ain't got my wings ain't that impressive. <laughs> but if you want to go after your back muscle, you want to do wide grip. I'm going to inside grip this time. That's easier. The closer you are, your hands are to your body, the easier it is. If they out wide, it's harder to pull up weight like that. So if you have your, uh, your grip from the inside, you can lift more weight. Got a little bit more endurance, so you'll see. Target muscle group is the back, the lats, but the biceps are working. You have to keep your abs engaged to keep you from swinging, so that's working too. So the pull up is a powerful move. In my opinion, we're doing uh, one of the hardest ab exercises you can do. If you can master leg raises, you got a pretty solid core, and that's the foundation of your training so you want a strong core i recommend you train core every day even if you don't train core you are hitting the core with some other exercise but you want to hit it directly again the wider grip is harder because you got to literally hold yourself up with your arms your, your wrist has to be engaged you gotta hold your body up and you gotta work your abs, your legs at the same time. So it's a powerful calorie burning exercise. This leg raise. Everybody can't do leg raises, of course. So there is an alternative. There's an easier way of doing this. But everybody can't even do it like this. Instead of doing leg raises, you can do knee raises. Just raise your knee, okay? And that's what I'm about to do now. Also, your grip has to be strong. Your forearms have to be strong to support your weight so you can lift your knees up. This is a modification to the leg lift. But it's important that you work your abs and not momentum lift, swinging. You shouldn't be lifting with momentum. It should all come from the core. You should have very little swing. You're gonna swing inevitably, but you wanna have very little swing. You wanna minimize that swing to where your muscles is doing the work, not the momentum. So now on to push-ups. I use a perfect push-up when I do my push-ups now. I really don't use the ground at all. I'm so used to the perfect push-up now. You get to do different variations. And uh, work the chest and his tricep. His shoulders too. When you hitting the push-up, you working all your muscles up here. So it's endurance too, and it's good. You put on muscle up to a certain point. You can change up the variations with the pull-up. You can change up the variation with the push-up. So now I'm about to go wide. Again, I, your hands are further away from the body. So in my opinion, it's harder. So here we go. The push-up is a fundamental exercise that you can do anywhere. It has so much versatility. 
that it's hard not to recommend doing push-ups, even if you're a gym goer. So do push-ups. Now we're gonna do the inside grip. You probably hit more of your chest, inside your chest. Uh, and your triceps are at more at work. So if you wanna get rid of that jiggle, you gotta train them triceps. So this does it right here. The closer your grip is, and again, if you can do multiple push-ups, if you can do push-ups at all, you're better than 90, 95% of the population. You know, push-ups are really good for the body, the chest, the abs are engaged, the triceps. If you want a nice, lean-looking upper body, do push-ups regularly. Right now, it's a full body workout. You don't need heavy weight. You don't even need weight all the time. It's good to confuse the body by doing body weight exercise. So that's no different with the legs. Right here I'm doing regular squats. Getting low. You still want to get results. Now if you want to get bigger, if you want to put size on your legs, I don't recommend you doing high repetition, high volume leg work. I want to get lean. <laughs> I don't mind losing weight. I don't mind shaping my legs up. So I'm doing high volume work. So basically, just squat. Feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Now, it doesn't matter if you male or female. This is probably hands down the best exercise you could do when it comes to fat loss and putting on muscle. There are reports and records of bodybuilders and getting stronger all over by working the legs. So you wanna make sure that you do squats on leg days and you know body weight squats are no different. You are getting work in and it's a cardio exercise. So it gets you breathing. It makes the heart work, the lungs work and expand which is good and recommended for the body. So if you're not doing squats, you need to put that in your program. Uh, it, it's probably one of the best things you can do for overall health. And if you wanna speed up your fat loss, this is definitely the way to go. Like the perfect push-up, I have links to the perfect push-up in my description box below. At the end of the day, you got to remember, the gym is a tool. The perfect push-up is a tool. You are the number one factor that decides your fate for the most part. You have to be the driving force for whatever goal you want to achieve. So if you were looking to lose weight, if you're looking to put on muscle, you are the number one deciding factor. Now, these tools can help you, but at the end of the day, you make the decision. Are you gonna train? Are you gonna eat right? Are you gonna get, drink water? Are you gonna stay away from negative forces that you can't control? That's the determining factor. I showed you a full body workout you can do at home or in the gym. For the most part, everything I showed you, you could do it at home, but you can do it in the gym as well. I'm a trainer, I believe that working everything, using a lot of things in the gym, utilizing everything helps me in the long run. I recommend cardio, be not for fat loss only, exclusively. I recommend cardio to help your heart be stronger overall. I recommend cardio because it helps your lungs fill up with air. It helps the volume of lungs expand. I do it all. If you want to see more from Justin Park, I'm on Facebook. You can join my group, Justin Park's Training. I do a lot of stuff about fitness. I talk about my lupus stories, my combat. I share my food on there and everything. So if you're looking to get healthier in every way, you're in the right place. Remember, fitness is an investment in yourself that pays off in the long run. You want those dividends in the long run. You want return of what you do now. You're going to get returns for later on in life. So I hope you get that. It's Justin Parks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.